With many famous old impossible levels being verified in the past couple years, examples of which being Silent Club, Sukupin Circles, Tartarus, and very recently, Silent Club Step, there seems to be a new generation of impossible levels the community will one day hopefully see verified. This supposed new generation of impossible levels isn't exactly the same as like the silent levels or levels such as OG Slaughterhouse and OG Silent Circles, as they're more aimed to be future top ones that just happen to be way above the skill range of many players, and we know this because of newer tools such as botting and hitbox tools. With almost all of the famous old impossible levels beaten in some way, shape, or form, a few upcoming top ones are considered so difficult that they are considered almost humanly impossible, with levels such as Kugel's Death Corridor, Orochi, and the subject of today's video as their flair as great examples. So in a weird way, could history repeat itself? Could Azure Flare become the next silent club step and one day be verified? So to answer this, let's look at a few arguments for why it isn't possible and why it is possible. Keep in mind, I am going under the assumption that the claims that this level is far more difficult than any other upcoming top one are actually true. I am not a top player myself, so I don't really know how hard it is in compared to levels like Misanthrope, Orochi, and like even just stuff that's on the list now, like Abyss of Darkness. So I will take three arguments against its verification being possible, and three for its verification being possible. First off, the first argument against its verification is that this level has such tight wave timings that a few percent on this level is considered an impressive run, and there are a total of 109 frame perfects in the level on 60Hz. For comparison, the current second hardest demon in the game, Slaughterhouse, has 65 60Hz frame perfects, and the second hardest challenge in the game, VSC, has 61 frame perfects in a level that isn't even 20 seconds long. This isn't even mentioning that a multitude of the frame perfects in Azure Flare are lucky frame perfects on 60Hz, so it's almost impossible on 60Hz, however, on 120Hz in Azure Flare, there are only 4 lucky frame perfects with 23 frame perfects in total. I got all these numbers from Lee Tim's frame perfect counter videos. I don't know exactly how accurate they are, but it's definitely a pretty good rough estimate at least. This all implies that Azure Flare is humanly impossible. At the very least, it's impossible on low end to reasonable refresh rates. The second argument against the level's verification is that Azure Flare is just too far above levels like Orochi, Death Corridor, and Misanthrope to be verified and is truly impossible when compared to every other upcoming top 1, or upcoming top 1 slash top 0 slash impossible level whatever lies on the YouTube algorithm. I won't explain much about this argument because 1. I'm not a top player, and 2. It falls apart the second someone mentions Silent Club Step because Silent Club Step was considered to be humanly impossible years ago, but now it's been verified, although technically it's the nerfed version, but uh, whatever. I also do think that it's possible that it will have a similar situation in Silent Club Step, as by the time that it's getting around to being verified, it won't actually be top 1. I mean, Silent Club Step hasn't been placed yet, but a lot of the top players now are saying it's like top 4 or top 2 or whatever. And while that argument isn't exactly the strongest, while paired with the third argument, it could still be plausible. The third argument against Azure Flare's verification is that the level will die before anyone can verify the level. Aiden GD would slowly fade away from the verification, and simply not enough people would be interested in the return of the level for its verification in the relatively distant future. Top players would be too focused on their own projects and other more well-known impossible levels to come back to Azure Flare. There is also the possibility of the game dying before the skill of top players reaches Azure Flare. Although that specific route seems unlikely, as 2.2 seems like it could be released within a couple years, boosting the game's popularity, and Azure Flare isn't so ridiculously impossible to us compared to when Silent Club Step was. Back when Silent Club Step was first released. I mean, we're talking about something that would happen one to three years from now, not something like six or seven years from now. Now for the arguments for its verification being actually possible. The first argument is that while the level includes over 100 frame perfects on 60Hz, there are significantly less on 120Hz with only 23, and even less on higher refresh rates such as 240Hz, 288Hz, 300Hz, and 360Hz, which are all acceptable on the demons list. Quick side note, I do think it's also possible that 390Hz and 500Hz could maybe possibly someday be considered legitimate frame rates considering monitors for those refresh rates are available, but for the sake of argument we'll just stick as 360 being like the highest refresh rate that's accepted. So yeah, with higher refresh rates being acceptable these days, so the C1997 of frame perfects is suddenly a lot less scary. And no, the C of frame perfects jokes are never going away, sorry Lady D, but you brought this upon yourself. The next argument for why this will be verified is the practice mode theory slash wet world effect or extreme demon effect. 
In C1997's Will Silent Club Step Ever Be Verified video, which was released when you were still in diapers, which is also the main inspiration for this video, if that wasn't clear enough, considering I'm comparing Azure Flare to how Silent Club Step was perceived back then. But in that video, C mentions this practice mode theory, which is that if a level can be beaten in practice mode, it will be beaten in normal mode eventually. He also mentioned that levels like Red World were once considered impossible, but over time considered easier, which I would personally call the Extreme Demon Effect or Red World Effect, I don't know, let me know in the comments which one you think sounds better in general. However, I think the practice mode theory really only works with the momentum bug fix on Mega Hack because you can cheese your way through impossible UFO and ship timings using the momentum bug in vanilla practice mode, but that's generally besides the point. But when we're referring to the Red World Effect slash Extreme Demon Effect, you can really just take a look at any of the recently verified impossible levels like Silent Club, Silent Club Step, and Kinda Slaughterhouse, but not really. All of them were once considered impossible levels that no one would ever be able to beat because it was just beyond the human limit. Only a few years ago, but Silent Club Step today is probably not even top one based off our current top players' opinions. I mean, Cursed literally thinks that it's easier than freaking Firework. Basically, over time, this level would be considered easier, which is also amplified by the fact that this is wave-based almost entirely, so it would be easier to grind for this level as opposed to levels like Abyss of Darkness, which has hard gameplay in all game modes. And the third argument, which is also sort of a debunk against one of the arguments against its verification, is that this level is perfect for views and probably won't die because of it. I mean, it's a freaking Nine Circles level, and it's an upcoming Impossible Top 1. I mean, you watching this video somewhat proves my point here. I mean, if FMN04 or XN just runs out of video ideas two years into the future, they can pull up an old recording of Azure Flare and just re-upload it under the title Old Impossible Upcoming Top 1, Forgotten Demon, and get like a bunch of views off of it. I think with a proper redeco, this level could have lots of hype surrounding it, especially if it's branded to be the hardest possible Nine Circles level. And also, Aiden GD seems to be very dedicated to this level. And while it was possible it could have been a Death Quarter situation where it takes eight years for like one dedicated player to verify it, because it was made an open verification with Aiden as only one of the contestants for the race, I don't think it will actually take that long. This also means Aiden GD probably won't buff it anymore considering it's been released to the public for open verification. So if it is verified, what are some ways that this could actually manifest itself? Well, the first option is that it will literally just be like Silent Club Step, where it's just the original version, someone verifies it, and the old copy is rated. Another possibility is that this level gets a redecoration, which I would personally be on board with, with just the legacy mode being a thing, because honestly, this level needs to have a more grand decoration scheme if it's going to be, you know, a big impossible level. I know that wasn't the case for Silent Club Step, but, you know, Silent Club Step having faithful decoration that didn't visually nerf the level or remove mirror portals would have been great. We could end up getting something like Abyss of Darkness, where no one really cares about making a redeco until someone gets like 90 something on the level, and then there's a redeco that's rushed out. So overall, will Azure Flare ever be verified? Well, the answer is, we don't really know. I mean, yes, but let me explain. It will take years for this question to truly be answered, or maybe five months, I don't know. I think Trick could probably do this if, you know, he didn't, like, stop playing everything after he makes progress on it for, like, two weeks. But I do think that someday it will be beaten. So yeah, that's the video. Um, if you liked it, then subscribe and like because you'll see more of my content. Discord link in the description if you want to hang out with me and make fun of me for making this video or something. And, um, yeah. See you in the next one.